Uh, hi friends, welcome to Transformation Unlimited YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share the very, very important topic, creativity. Creativity lies in seeing what everyone is seeing, but thinking what no one has thought. Every child is born creative. It has such a vivid imagination that it can see pictures even in the shapes of clouds or shadows. However, some children get less imaginative as they grow up. This happens due to the competitive pressures of studying and the reduction of a child's creative activities of drawing, coloring, craft, singing, dancing and playing. Besides, most children are drawn away from the creative influence of Mother Nature. Hence, every child possesses the creative capability but is not quite aware of its existence in him. Science has speculated that we are using 10% of our brain capacity to access and cultivate that other 90% of unrealized potential. We need to expand our brain and mind to accelerate our creative potential using the right side of the brain. The two sides of our brain are distinct and house different abilities. It is interesting to note that this difference and the impact it has on our responses. The left side is one of logic, arithmetic about facts. The right side deals with our five senses, emotions. Our ability to feel our educational system works on the development of primarily the left side. Hence, IQ, intelligence quotient, is preferred over EQ, emotional quotient. However, right around our world, it has been found that the leaders and achievers are the ones who are owners of owners to emotional strengths and creative abilities. They are ones who can dream about the unimaginable. Dreams are nothing but unconscious imaginations. In the same way, imaginations are nothing but conscious dreaming. A person who imagines a lot could very well turn into a creative person. However, it is important that this imagination translates into worthy productivity. For instance, it is not enough to be creative in thought. One has to put it, put it to use in the form of a poem, a story, a song, a drawing, a craft, or a model of things we learn in geography or science. It also involves being able to solve logical and mathematical problems using innovative methods. Creativity is all about changing your perception. Apples fell on many a head, but it took Isaac Newton to look beyond and discover the fact of gravity. Creativity is nothing but thinking what else it can be instead of thinking what it is. It is also about doing everyday things in a different way. We need to nurture our spirit of curiosity, discovery and adventure. Right brain thinking is a process that involves unlearning and the three I's, imagination, innovation, and invention. Some ways to enhance creativity. Number one, puzzles. Not only in doing puzzles, daily an excellent way of keeping the mind sharp, but different puzzles exercise different portions of the brain. Some puzzles stimulate the left brain, some the right brain. There are also different types of thinking, logical, analogical, and lateral or a few examples. These different modes of thinking apply to solving different kinds of problems. Reading, writing, and most forms of arithmetic use structured sequential thought. Reasoning is also an attribute of left brain thinking. Developing our ability to reason is an art that results in wisdom. Point number two, humor. Humor is the ability to recognize the absurd in any situation and to accept it. Humor is the ability to not take oneself or others too seriously. Lightheartedness is the essence of a joyful and creative life. A sense of mirth helps re relax the mind and make it more flexible. If you study the great geniuses of recorded history, most of them had an excellent sense of humor.
examples are einstein leonardo da vinci shakespeare goethe our very own birbal tenaliram and the list goes on in number 3 inspiration inspiration is another element that fosters a creative mind it helps to start each day with an inspiring thought or a little story left behind by the creative geniuses of the past uh, these parables and thoughts will lift uh, uplift you and guide you through the day keeping your mind in a lofty place your desire to reach beyond your present boundaries is stimulated uh, this is the essence of a creative attitude the desire to reach for new horizons Point number four: the art of doodling. Uh, there is more to passive doodling than meets the eye. What we doodle says a lot about who we are, as well as renders the symbolic language of the subconscious available to the conscious mind. Uh, when you are struggling with a problem, try this technique as a method of seeing solutions that might otherwise escape your notice. symbolism is a powerful and creative tool doodling helps to explore and reveal its potentialities point number 5 leisure activities it is so famously said all work and no play make jock a dull boy outdoor activities like trekking swimming and sports help us widen the horizons of our perceptions mother nature is a great catalyst for sparking of creative processes processes similarly activities like music and drawing unleash our creative potential it is important that we indulge in our hobbies to the fullest will you do that yes i know you are going to do this fine friends creativity takes you to the next level you will enjoy and cherish your life so each and every minute just start experiencing i wish you all the best let us meet in the next video bye bye